Hello and welcome to Lido. In today's video, we come back to the second episode of software tools for businesses. And today we're going with the most important tool for communication. And that's it, Slack. Let's go with the intro and we'll start with the review. Slack, for those who don't know, is a communication tool that is very similar to the messaging app that we use in our personal life as WhatsApp, iMessage, etc. But with Slack, there is a big reason, a few big reasons of why it's one of the most, well, we say the most communication tools that businesses use. Slack was developed by a company called Tiny Spec, who was developing an online game actually in that time. And the, the internal team of developers, they kind of feel the need to have a better tool to communicate in a message app or in, in a different way. And the thing is, is that the potential of that tool was way bigger than the game that they were developing. So the company's co-founders have to take the decision to stop developing the game where it wasn't bringing any big results. And they decided to shift the business model of the company and convince all the, their team basically to work just to develop this tool just with the hope that other businesses would like to use this communication tool. And it turned out that it was a huge success and right now everyone is using Slack. And it's for a good reason, few good reasons. So let's start with the review. Let's start with design. At the beginning when you open the app, it might seem very similar to WhatsApp or any other communication message that we use but the thing is is this tool is designed to achieve a high performance level in the workspace so it have different details that allow you to not only communicate easily in a direct way but also to distribute the things in different channels and that this is the third element in design that I want to talk about. As you can see, we have on the left side, we have the control bar and the sidebar that you use it to shift between the different channels. These channels are basically the different things, different department, whatever you want to call it. So we have the channels and then we have the threads, which is one of the main key elements that differentiates Slack which other message tool. These threads are used when you want to reply to directly to a certain message or to an image or a document and create a separate conversation in order to don't lose the important track of the communication line in the channels. Because sometimes when we are in a big group and we use WhatsApp, you kind of lose the, um, the line of communication in some point with so many different messages from different people. So in this case, it's like allow you to have the channel where you have an order to allow the important information. And then if you need to make a quote or respond to certain things, you create a thread where you can discuss in in a farther and more extensive way um, something. Also, you can integrate app with Slack so that you don't have to go out of the tool to see, for example, your calendar or if you're using Trello to, project manage, to, to be able to manage your project or many of the different ones. Let's move on with performance. Slack with this clear, elegant design and those his functionalities, it clear complete his its function of 
managing the different communication channels at the different teams within your organization. Not only that you have a desktop app, but you also have the mobile version, obviously, where you have a direct data from your phone, which nowadays where most of the people use it, no? It's like they have WhatsApp by message or whatever for the personal, and then they have a Slack for the work and professional environment. But having an exclusive space for work, it creates a different mindset when you're using the tool and that create a better performance. So I think it's really needed to have this integrated in your communication channels. Now, in terms of the learning curve, it might take a while, or I guess not much, but it will take a bit to get used to it, to the different functionalities. Especially the problem with this new world and cloud collaboration tools is that not all the people know how to use it exactly. They see the functionalities, but they don't know how to implement it efficiently and how to communicate that to their team so they can use it as they should do. When it came to learning these different functionalities, the good thing is that Slack facilitates the way of doing it. You directly have different links that bring you to their help center where they have different segments for any kind of things of doubt, of question, everything is really clear. So I highly recommend to invest in this small time reading it and be able to make the most of the experience because not only is a way to communicate better and faster and transfer the information, but also to actually have an integration with different apps and that's really important. So learn to use it properly and it will make your life better. And to finish, the last segment of this review is price, as we all know. The good thing is these tools and many others, they have different plans. In this case, the free version offer you the basic out what most of the people need. The free version allow you all the functionality that I just mentioned is they is limited up to share of 10k message and to integrate around 10 app and also allow one-to-one video calls we didn't feel the need to upgrade it i don't know if having a big thing or huge thing require um, a gray of the plan but for now we've been using it for a while now and is perfect and I don't I don't build I don't think that you need more than 10 app to integrate it normally you want if you want you have two different plans more you have the standard version and the plus the standard it came to 5.25 pounds per user and per month that's the only thing you have to pay per user so you have a huge team, well, that can be more expensive, but still, that's why you have the free version. And then we have the plus plan, which is 9.75. As well, both prices are really competitive. Per user per month, um, what both are great, what they allow is more shares, a limited app integration, group call, a screen sharing, different extras that you can add to, to a Slack, but you can also use other tools for that as well. So that's it for the review. In general, we have a great tool. Those were the reason why most of the organization uses nowadays. I highly recommend to try it. Even if you don't have a big team, it just, as I mentioned, it just changed the mindset of the app to work space that dedicated for that and um, with all these different functionality, great design and being a completely free app, I couldn't ask for more. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the review, that you learn more something about software tool in general and I hope you use it and it will help you to communicate better with it, your teams and your organization. So that's it for today. Give a like, subscribe as always if you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one.